Amal Kumar sharing with you a practice test. We need to plot the points for the given polar coordinates. The first one here is 2 pi by 3. The second one is 3 5 pi by 4. Then we have 1 minus pi by 6 and we have minus 2 minus pi by 3. Right? So these are the four points which you have to plot on the polar coordinates. Now, as you know polar coordinates when you sketch you have a pole the initial arm which is the polar axis and then each point can be referred to as an angle from the pole which it makes with the initial arm the polar axis the horizontal polar axis. Now you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. The first point here is 2 pi by 3. Let me say this is point A, this is point B, C and D. Okay. 2 pi by 3. So whenever you are plotting the points, first look for the angle, sketch the ray and then 2 units is R, right? So basically the points are given to you as R theta, right? Now these lines which I have drawn are to help you. This is uh, pi by 3, this is pi by 4, this is pi by 6 and so on and of course this is pi by 2. Okay. Now first one is 2 pi by 3 so, we'll, so it makes an angle of pi by 3 so that means we are on this particular ray correct? Right. Now on this particular ray R is 2 therefore the point should be here right so that is the distance from the pole so that is the point and we'll call this point as a right this point is 2 pi by 3 for us is it okay let's look into the next point which is 3 5 pi by 4 now this is 1 pi by 4 2 pi by 4 3 4 pi by 4 and this one is 5 pi by 4 is it okay so the ray which we identified this time is kind of here is it okay 5 pi by 4 and the point is 3 units away from the pole so that means here so that is the point for us so this is the point B which is 3 5 pi by 4 correct you can always join it with the line segment to show the point right so let me join the first one also well anyway the point is as marked c 1 minus pi by 6 so whenever we are talking about negative it means angles will be measured clockwise direction right so so pi by 6 is measured clockwise direction will land up in this line right so for this particular case we're kind of going like this, right? So this much is the angle pi by 6 and is negative because we are going in clockwise direction. Unit 1, right? So on the circle, we have one unit away from the pole. So that is the point C for us. Is it okay? Point D. Point D is minus 2 and minus pi by 3. Now pi by 3 is this ray which represents pi by 3 is that okay so this ray is pi by 3 now minus because we are going in which direction clockwise direction therefore this will be I'm not writing minus here if you go clockwise it is understood right but we want to mark a distance of minus 2 this point here represents plus 2 so this point here is actually 2 minus pi by 3 now how do we get minus 2? So for minus 2, you have to reflect it, right, about the pole. So the point on the other side will be minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 minus pi by 3. So this point is our point D now, which is minus 2 minus pi by 3. I hope that is clear, right? So, with this video, we kind of summarize what you have learned about plotting 
points on polar coordinates. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.